This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at salt hydrolysis. So let's start with a definition. Salt hydrolysis is the reaction of a cation or an anion with water to produce an acidic or basic solution. Here we can see three neutralization reactions. In our first reaction, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride and water. In our second reaction, ethanoic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium ethanoate and water. And in the final reaction, ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid to form ammonium chloride. In our first reaction, which involves a strong acid and a strong base, the solution formed has a pH of 7. In our second reaction, which involves the reaction of a weak acid and a strong base, the solution formed has a pH of greater than 7. And in the last reaction, which involves a weak base and a strong acid, the solution formed has a pH of less than 7. So these two reactions involve salt hydrolysis. This is where a cation or an anion from the salt reacts with water to produce an acidic or basic solution. So next, we'll look at each of these reactions in more detail. So we'll start by looking at the reaction between a strong acid and a strong base. So in this reaction, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride and water. The sodium chloride dissociates to form sodium ions and chloride ions. Due to the fact that strong acids and bases dissociate completely, neither ion is able to hydrolyze water. Therefore, the solution formed will have a pH of 7 at 298K. Another example is the reaction between nitric acid and potassium hydroxide. They react together to form the salt potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate dissociates to form potassium ions and nitrate ions. Neither ion is able to hydrolyze water. So the solution formed will have a pH of 7 at 298K. So to summarize, the salt formed by the reaction of a strong acid and a strong base is a neutral salt. Next we look at the reaction between a weak acid and a strong base. So here we have the reaction between ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide to produce sodium ethanoate and water. Sodium ethanoate dissociates to form ethanoate ions and sodium ions. The ethanoate ion is the conjugate base of a weak acid. Therefore, it is strong enough to hydrolyze water. This results in the formation of ethanoic acid and hydroxide ions. Due to the presence of excess hydroxide ions, the pH is greater than 7. Another example is the reaction of the hydrogen carbonate ion, which is the conjugate base of carbonic acid. This ion is able to hydrolyze water to produce carbonic acid and hydroxide ions. Once again, due to the presence of excess hydroxide ions, the pH is greater than 7. So to summarize, the reaction between a weak acid and a strong base produces a basic salt. Next, we'll look at the reaction between a weak base and a strong acid. So here we have the reaction between ammonia and hydrochloric acid. The salt formed is ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride dissociates to form ammonium ions and chloride ions. The ammonium ion is the conjugate acid of a weak base. Therefore, it is strong enough to hydrolyze water. This results in the formation of ammonia and hydronium ions. Due to the presence of excess hydronium ions, the pH is less than 7. Another example is the reaction between the conjugate acid of methanamine. Because this is a conjugate acid of a weak base, it is able to hydrolyze water. And once again, we have the presence of excess hydronium ions. So to summarize, the reaction between a weak base and a strong acid produces an acidic salt. Let's end the video with a summary. In this table, we have the combination of parent acid and base, the pH at 298K, and some examples. The salt formed by the reaction of a strong acid and a strong base will have a pH of 7 at 298K. Examples of neutral salts include sodium chloride and potassium nitrate. The salt formed in the reaction between a weak acid and a strong base will have a pH of greater than 7 at 298K. An example of a basic salt is sodium ethanoate. And the salt formed in the reaction between a weak base and a strong acid will have a pH of less than 7. 
and an example of an acidic salt is ammonium chloride.